Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So today I'm going to be making this bonnet here. I'll show you. Sorry, I don't have much counter space, but like that. It's got the flower on it. You can leave the flower off if you want, and some ties. Um, I actually can do it for three different sizes right now. All you can, all we're going to do is we're going to follow this pattern. But I'm just going to use different size needles for the size. So I'm going to be making um, zero to three months. And for that size, you want to use a size F, 3.75 millimeter for zero to three months. This one I made is three to six months. And you want to use the size G, which is a 4.25. And then like six to 12. You're going to want to use an eye, a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. But follow the same pattern, just use the different size needle. Zero to three is an F, 3.75. Three to six is a G, 4.25. And six to 12 is a I, is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. And I'm going to be using Caron. Simply Soft, which is just a uh, medium weight four ply acrylic, so you could use any type of four ply yarn that you have. Um, this this skein I think has I can never find it 300 and some yards in it, but you don't even need a whole skein, so it wasn't it won't take 315 yards. It'll probably take like not no, they don't even take very much, so. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I made this one for my new baby, but it was a little too big, so I'm going to make the smaller one now. So you want to start with the slip knot on your hook. And you want to start with a chain of four. One, two, three, four. And then we'll slip stitch back into the first one and then we're going to form a ring. If you want to use the magic circle here, you can do that too. Okay, and then I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to work 12 double crochets through the center of the ring. So I'm going to yarn over and go through the ring, drop a loop, and then do my double crochet. There's one, two, three, my yarn is splitting, four, five, Okay, once you get your 12 double crochets, I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into that first double crochet. Not the chain one, but the double crochet. Like that. And then you can pull your tail and it'll make that center circle a little bit smaller. Okay, now we're going to start off with a chain of three. And that chain of three counts as the first double crochet. Now I'm going to go right back in the same little spot here that I slip stitched into and I'm going to do another double crochet. So with that chain three, that's two double crochets in that same stitch. Now I'm going to go to the next stitch and I'm going to work a puff V stitch, which is these right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to yarn over and go into the next stitch and drop a loop. I'm going to yarn over again, go into the next, go into the same stitch, I'm sorry, drop a loop, and then one more time, same stitch, drop a loop. So that was three times I did that. Now I'm going to, and you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on your hook. I'm going to yarn over and go through all the loops, like that, and then I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to do that exact same thing again in the same stitch. I'm going to yarn over, go into the same stitch, 
draw up a loop. I'm going to do that three times. So that's one, two, three, <clears throat> seven loops on my hook. Yarn over and go through all of them. And then chain one. So that's a puff V stitch right there. Now I'm going to go to the next stitch. I'm going to put two double crochets in the same stitch. So there's one. Go back in. And two. Now the next stitch is going to be the puff V stitch again. So I'm going to yarn over and go in. Drop a loop. I'm going to do that three times. So that's one. Two. Three, yarn over and go through all the loops on my hook, chain one, and I'm going to do that one more time in that same stitch, one, two, three, yarn over and go through all the loops, chain one, and there's a puffy stitch again. Now I'm going to jump to the next stitch and put two double crochets in that same stitch. And this is the pattern that I'm going to repeat all the way around. Two double crochets in the same stitch. And then the next stitch will be the puff V stitch. And then two double crochets, puff V stitch, two double crochets, all the way back around to the beginning. Okay, once you make it back to the beginning, you should have ended in a puff V stitch. And that would make it you should have a total of six of the puff V stitches on this round. And then after you do your last one, you want to make sure you do that chain one to lock it into place. And then we're just going to slip stitch back into this top of this first chain three. Like that. Okay. Now we're going to start out again with a chain of three. One two, three. That counts as our first double crochet. Now we're going to go back into the same double crochet, that little spot that we just slipped this into, and do another double crochet. So that's two double crochets in that same stitch. Like that. And then we're going to put one double crochet in this next double crochet. Just like that. So now this time there's going to be three double crochets in between each of the puff stitches. So now we got our three double crochets there. Now this next stitch, this next puff V stitch, we're going to work right here in between it and we're going to put another puff V stitch. So we're going to yarn over and go right in the space, that chain one space in between and work a puff V stitch. just like we worked them before. So that's one puff. Go back into the same spot and do your other one. Just like that. And chain one. Now we're right here to these two double crochets. I'm going to put two double crochets in the very first one and then only one double crochet in the next one. So go ahead to the first one and put two double crochets in it. Like that. And then the next double crochet right there you just work one double crochet in it. Okay. And that brings us to the next puff V stitch. And we're just going to work a puff V stitch in the center of it. There's that. And then we're to our two double crochets. So we put 
two double crochets in the first one and one double crochet into the next one and we're just going to repeat this pattern that we're doing all the way around what it's doing is just gradually increase in the circle and then one in the next and then we're back and we do our puff v-stitch again in the center of this one so just repeat that pattern all the way around okay I made it back around and again after you finish this last puff stitch we're just going to slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three like that now we're going to chain three again one two three and that cancels our first double crochet so now we're going to increase again so here we have three double crochets now we need to make it four so that counts as our first one now the next stitch we're going to put two double crochets in it since it's the middle one we're going to put two double crochets into the next stitch and then the next one is just going to get one double crochet like that and then we're going to jump over here to this puff b stitch and again right in between it we're going to do another puff v stitch like that and then we're back here to these three double crochets we're going to put one double crochet in the first one two double crochets in the next one and then one double crochet into the last one one in that one and then two into the next and this is kind of the pattern that we're going to repeat all the way around this time it's the same but we're just adding another double crochet to make the circle get a little bit bigger each time around okay puff b stitch put another one in here like that and then the double crochets is one double in the first one two double crochets in the next one and then one double crochet into the last one so you just want to repeat this pattern all the way back around to the beginning two in that one and then one in that one okay go ahead and repeat all the way back around okay once you make it around again you just want to slip stitch into your chain three now we're going to do one more row increases so this time we're going to have five double crochets in between each of the puff stitches so we're going to start by chain and three like that and we're going to put one double crochet into the next stitch and then the next stitch we'll put two double crochets in it And then the last double crochet right here we'll put one double crochet in it so there we just increased it to five now we're gonna v puff v stitch in the middle of this one i don't know why this yarn keeps splitting like that and then right here again one double crochet into the first one one double crochet into the next one and two double crochets into the next one and then one double crochet into the last and then puff these stitch here and then just repeat repeat it all the way around back to the beginning 
Okay, at the end of that row, or that round, we're going to slip stitch into our chain three. Now we're going to be working, instead of working around and around, we're going to be working back and forth, <coughs> which creates this split here. So it goes around their neck, the back of their neck, kind of. So I want to get, what I'm going to do is slip stitch over here to the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slip stitch into the next double crochet. And then I'm going to slip stitch one more time into the next. Like that. And you can see I'm in the third one. So there's two on this side and two on this side. So I'm going to chain three and turn my work now. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to put, I'm not going to be increasing anymore. So I'm just going to go ahead and put one double crochet in this next double crochet. Like that. And then one double crochet in this double crochet. Kind of got it. Since we slip stitch, it's kind of hard to get it through there, but. There we go. Like that. And now I'm at this puff V stitch, and I'm just going to put a puff V stitch in the middle of it, just like before. Like that. And then on these double crochets, there's going to be five of them. And we're just going to put one double crochet in each of them. Just like that. And then we're at our puff V stitch, and we just put a puff V stitch there. So we're just going to repeat this all the way around. Puff V stitches here, keep them lined up, and then one double crochet in each of these double crochets. All the way back around. Okay, I'm back here. Here's where I started, and I just did that puff stitch. So I'm going to go ahead, and you can see I have two uh, double crochets left. I'm going to go ahead and put one double crochet into the first one. One double crochet into the last one. And now I'm going to come over here to this one where we did our chain three. And I'm going to put another double crochet in it. The same one. Like that. So there will be five double crochets in, in between each of these. Except for this one where, where the split is. There's going to be six. Okay. And instead of connecting, what I'm going to do is chain three, and then I'm going to turn. And I'm going to repeat the row that I just did. I'm just going to go ahead and double crochet in each of these. What this is going to do now is it's going to start making it come curve in a little bit. You can see forming the main portion of it. And one in this one. Like that. And then my puff V stitch, do another one. Like that. And then one double crochet in each of these five double crochets. And then a puff V stitch here, and one double crochet in each of these, puff V stitch, one double crochet in each of these, all the way back around to the beginning. 
Okay, I'm coming around to the beginning. I got my last double crochets here. Just gonna put one in each of them. One in that one. One in that one. And then one double crochet into the top of this chain three. Like that. Just like that. And again, I'm, I'm just gonna repeat that last row we did. So I'm going to chain three and turn and I'm going to repeat that row and I want to repeat that row two more times so I'll have a total right here at the split if I repeat this row two more times right here at the split I'll have a total of four so two more plus these two so two more rows just like the one we just did okay once you get them rows done now we're going to work on this band and this is a single crochet so I made it all the way around and I got my split, I got my four rows like we talked about. So I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn my work. Okay, now I'm going to go back into that same stitch that I just slip stitched to, into, this very first one. Or that I, yeah, that I just, this very first one right here. It's single crochet. And now I'm going to do one single crochet in every stitch all the way back to the other side. When you get to these puff B stitches, you want to put one single crochet right here where in the top of the puff. One single crochet just right through the center. one single crochet in the top of the next puff and then one right here on this chain one space so right through here just go right through just like that and that's how you single crochet across the puff B stitches and then one on each of these double crochets Okay, and on puff B stitches again, you just put one on the top of that first one, one right through the center, one right here on the top of the next one, and then one right through this chain one space here, and then one on top of each of these double crochets, and I'm just going to do this until I get to the other side. Okay, I'm coming to the end here and I just want to finish out by putting a single crochet on top of these double crochets here at the end and one in the top of the chain three like that and I'm going to chain one and turn my work now I'm going to do one row of single crochet decreases and that's going to be this row right here I'll show you how we're going to do that I'm going to go ahead and put a single crochet in the very first stitch I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is put four single crochets in a row and then the next one will be a single crochet decrease. So single crochet in the very first stitch so that counts as one. Go to the next stitch, two, the next stitch, three, and the next stitch. There's four single crochets in a row. Now I'm going to decrease over these next two stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the next stitch and draw up a loop. And then I'm going to go into the next stitch and draw up a loop. And I'm going to yarn over and go through all three loops on my hook. What that did was it took them two stitches and it, only, it made it into one. Now I'm going to put one single crochet in each of the next four stitches again. So there's one. Two, three, four, and then I'm going to do a decrease over the next two. So I'm going to go into the next one, draw up a loop, go into the next one, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through all three. And I'm going to repeat this process 
all the way back around to the other side. One single crochet in each of the next four stitches. Three. Four. And then a single crochet decrease over the next two. Just like that. So let's go ahead and repeat that till you get over here to this side. Okay, I made it all the way around and I just did my last decrease. And if you followed along with me, you should have one stitch left. Let's go ahead and single crochet into that last stitch. But if you have more stitches left, don't redo it. It's not going to make a big deal. Not even going to notice because stitch count don't really matter. So don't, don't worry about it. Now I'm going to chain one, turn my work single crochet right back into the very first stitch and now I'm going to do one single crochet in every stitch no more decreases and I want to do five more rows of just one single crochet in every stitch so this is I'm going to do five more for a total of seven counting that in the very first one we did the one row and then the decrease row and then we want to do five more rows of just one single crochet in every stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and work and get my remaining five rows done. And I'll meet back up with you in just one second. Okay, once you get your rows of single crochet done, I'm going to chain three this time and turn. And we're going to start making that ruffle at the top. And we're going to do that by going right back into the same stitch and putting two double crochets. So counting that chain three, we have a total of three double crochets in that stitch. And now I'm going to work my way across putting three double crochets in every single stitch. And this will create that ruffle. The more, I mean, the farther you get, it'll start to ruffle up more. Three in that one. And then three double crochets into the next. So I'm just going to work across, putting three double crochets in every single stitch until I get back over here to the other side. Okay, once you got your ruffle on it, all the way to the other side. I'm going to clip my yarn here and I'll hide that tail a little bit later but we about got it now we want I'm going to add the uh, ties so I'm gonna start with a slip knot on my hook and you make your ties as long as you want I'm going to make a chain of forty. So there's one, two, five, six, Okay, there's 40. Now, if you want yours longer or shorter, that's up to you. But you find, is there a side of your work that you like better? Put it uh, facing you. So this is a side that I like. They kind of like look the same to me, actually. But I'm just going to say this side right here. So I'm going to start up here with this chain still attached to my hook. I'm going to single crochet right here in the same stitch that I just put these... Uh, double crochets in. Single crochet. Like that. And I still have that long tie there. Now I'm going to work uh, down this V and back to the other side 
cleaning up the edge, putting a single crochet in every stitch. So I'm going to go right through and put one single crochet in every stitch. And it's going to clean up the edges real nice. When you get here, you're just going to kind of have to evenly space the single crochets out on the sides of these doubles. So, I kind of usually put like two single crochets in each of each side of the double crochet. So, like, kind of go into the side of it and put one at the top part of it. And then go down a little bit and put another one in the bottom part of it. But you can do it however you want to do it. Whatever is easiest to kind of get them spaced out equal. And this is just cleaning up the edges nicely. Making it look nice and straight across. And kind of just go right through the V. I put one right here in the center of the V and then it's going to turn go back up this side. You want to do that all the way up to here till you get to the other side. Okay, I'm up here at the top. Now I'm going to put a single crochet in the same stitches as, as these double crochets here. Like that. And now I'm going to do my chain of 40, or however many you chained, in case you chained a different number. Three. Okay, there's 40. Now on this chain, I'm going to add one more, like that, for a total of 41. And now I'm going to single crochet back up the chain. So I'm going to go ahead and single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. That's why we add that extra one. So single crochet in the second stitch from the hook, and then one single crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain, all the way up it. like this until you get to the top and when you made it all the way up your chain here I'm at the top here I'm gonna slip stitch right into the same stitch that these three double crochets are in slip stitch like that and I'm gonna tie this off and you want to hide that tail but I'll do that in a minute so I'm just gonna pull that through now I'm going to come over to the other tie, and I'm going to start at the bottom with my yarn here. So go ahead and start in the bottom stitch, put your hook in there, and pull this through. Okay, I'm going to start by chaining one, and I'm going to go to the next stitch and single crochet. It's kind of hard to get it started, but once you get it started, it'll be okay. There we go. Now I'm just going to work 
one single crochet in each stitch of the chain all the way to the top just like I did on the other side and when I get to the top I'll just slip stitch in the same spot I did on the other side where those three double crochets are so I'm going to go ahead and work my single crochets all the way up the chain okay I made it to the top and I went ahead and I slip stitched my chain the same spot where these three double crochets are and again I'm going to tie this off like that we're about done now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and hide all my tails I have a bunch of them to hide so I'm just going to weave them in under the back side weave these on the back side of the chain and everything and I'm going to get all my tails hidden Okay, once you get all your tails hidden, you can be done if you want. I think it turned out pretty cute. I'm actually think I might put a flower on mine. Um, I have a tutorial on how to do this flower already. I use it a lot. It's one of my favorites. And I'll put a link to that tutorial on the screen. And I'll put it below in the uh, comment section or the description box. That way if you decide to make a flower, you can. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sew this on. And then I have a button I'm going to put on it too. Probably, but so it's gonna look something like that. But you don't have to do that. That's up to you. But that's all there is to it. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and check. And please don't forget to come check me out on Facebook. And if you make this or anything else crochet, uh, I'd like to see a picture of it. You can post it on my Facebook page. I'll put a link to that below in the description box too. And until next time, have a good day.